Welcome. I'm gonna go through all the testability uh, with all the movable parts we have in a FIDA energy system. So the first thing we're going to uh, look at is our solenoid. And before I can test our solenoid, I need to check if the hand view valve is closed. And I need to dismount my hose. In this way, I can make sure if anything goes wrong, nothing will happen because the hand view valve is closed and the hose is dismounted. So now I can dismount my solenoid. And what I want to test on the solenoid is when we activate the solenoid, the piston will come out with a force and the force of the piston should be able to move the piston inside of the IVA valve. So the force we apply from this to this needs to be greater. And to test that, we have a testing tool where we can measure the output of this piston. And um, before we do the actual test, we have in our toolkit box, this IS-8B electrical circuit tester. This one you must always use between the control panel and the solenoid to make sure you don't damage the circuit in here. We put this in front and that will make sure that the solenoid will work the next time we need this to work. So we're gonna apply this to here. And on this side, we are going to take an adapter and place on here. Then we're going to mount our testing tool. It's probably easier this way. And then we take our reset tool and we mount it on the other side of the testing tool so the combination will look like this now the first thing that's very important is to move this red needle in a neutral place because if you let it be over here, there's a great force coming to push it and that could damage this um, needle. So always put that all the way to the right so nothing will happen to that. Then when we uh, tighten our reset tool, we just need to tighten it until we can see a reaction. And it's around here. And then we'll just turn it back to neutral here and leave it like that. Then we need to connect it to our control panel. So here we have a connection to our control panel. And we'll check this out. An alarm will appear until I connect to here. Now we are ready to carry out the test and to carry out the test, of course, you have to make sure that you don't have any connections towards the system. So the only connection uh, for the electrical activation will only go to this one. So I'm going to release my panel. And as a 30 second uh, countdown, so we have to wait for 30 seconds. But after the 30 seconds, uh, the system will be activated and this will push the needle up approximately up about the 0.8. And then we can determine how much force we need to activate our IVA afterwards.
So now you can see, just take off the alarm here. So now you can actually see that the force that the solenoid have given is up here uh, between 0.4 and 0.6. Um, so that means when we do the test to activate the IV8, this should be lower than this measurement. So now we have to reset uh, the solenoids. So first of all, we need to disconnect our electrical. And disconnect this one as well. And these are also in the uh, test port kit where you can actually see it's now green, then it's not active. If it's red, it's active, and then you shouldn't place it on the solenoid on the cylinder. We also need to reset our solenoid. So to reset the solenoid, um, It should actually be reset now just by turning it and go back. We're gonna see if we reset it. You can also just take this off and then reset it just with the reset tool here. So as you can see, it's reset. Well, the pin would have been out, just like this one where you can see this is an activated unit and this is a reset unit.